Welcome to the Academy Answers Podcast. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for listening in. And we always get started this way. We play our creed, something we live by. And that is, we don't worry, we work. We don't doubt, we believe. We don't make excuses, we hustle. We don't talk about it, we are about it. We don't follow, we lead. We don't do it to have, we do it to become. We're not victims, we take responsibility. We're not suckers, we earn our spot. We're not a statistics, we stand for something. We are not the clay, we are the potters. We design our own lives. Let's jump into the podcast, guys. Hope it can bring you some value today. Let's go in. Hey, guys, how are you doing this morning? So my question today, welcome to the Academy Answers podcast, where we go over the question from our blog or social media, our email list, and any other questions come from here too. Some people reach out to me. Um, asking me a couple of things to talk about some topics. So this topic is um, what is the biggest thing I have to realize to move my life forward? How do I take control of my life? Well, to put it plain and simple, because this guy asked me to be blunt, he says he's a straight up guy. He wants to hear it in the most unpolished way I can. I don't want to swear on the podcast, but I'll tell you the first thing is that one of the biggest things you must understand is that nobody cares. I remember one day I was standing in a bank and there was this guy in front of me and he was trying to convince his friend that, yes, my bank loves me. My bank sent me this um, letter of invitation for me to take um, this loan for how much thousands and, you know, they like me down there and because I'm a good customer. Look, nobody cares. Your bank doesn't care. All you are to the bank is a prospect, is somebody they can make more money from. You are the number that you see on your account. Your customer number, 438212. That's what you are. The same thing to your mortgage company, the same thing to your utility companies. You are a number. They don't care. Same thing with your job. You are a number. Nobody cares. If you have 10 people around you, including family members, children, and everybody else. Three people care, and only one out of the three is in a position to do anything about that care that they have. Listen, you are, have to do what you need to do to move your life forward. You are the change you're waiting for. You are the person you are waiting for. You must get up and make it happen. No one else is going to do it for you. Personal responsibility is the hallmark of maturity and it's the foundation on which people who move their lives from one level to the next stand on. Understanding that nothing out there is set up to help you. Don't think the system has any obligation to help you because they can get up tomorrow morning and the powers that be decide that they're not going to give you so much on that social security check. They're not going to give you the assistant. They're not going to make healthcare free. They're not going to charge you less taxes and you can do diddly squat about it. You cannot do anything about it. The system is the system. You cannot fight it. You cannot change it. All you have to do is find a way to make a system within that system that works for you and your family and give you some amount of leeway and maneuver where you can take away yourself from some of the injustices and some of the jaconian ways that the system will have over your neck. So I have this guy that is one of my virtual mentors i follow him on on youtube you you can i think he is his, his name is grant cardone and i think he was saying that when he was in california he was paying like four million in taxes four to six million in taxes and he the, the people decided that look that's your tax forget you he said that okay i don't care of choices he picked his family up and he get himself over there to Miami. Now he's in Miami. He's immediately six million dollars rich. That's it. Done deal. That's how you have a system within the system where you can make a couple swings and you can make a couple moves and get your life going forward. And you don't have to take every single 
hit that the system has for you or every single injustice. That's the only thing you can do. So you have to know what's going on out there. You have to have perspective. Don't think that banks like you, companies like you, nobody cares. Whatever they do is in the interest of service so that you will stay. Is in the interest of being competitive. Nothing else. No one is going to do it for you. Your friends don't care. Your co-workers don't care. Okay, get sick at work for a week. One person might call. Two weeks, another person might call. Four or five weeks, you're forgotten. You might go back to work and somebody say, hey, I haven't seen you since last week or... Or you say, well, I'm just coming back. And I'm saying, oh, you weren't here? No, but people are too busy running their own lives. No one cares, so it doesn't matter if you step out and people criticize you because the criticisms and the opinions from people are for entertainment purposes only. Small minds discuss people. They don't have anything to do. They have anything to occupy themselves and they just do it as a side thing. When they go off, in two minutes, they find something else to criticize and to have an opinion about. Opinions are the lowest forms of knowledge because they ask nothing and require nothing of those who are proposing them. You don't have to have any knowledge, facts, nothing. It's just an opinion, whatever. So do not allow these things to get under your skin. And I'm telling you that no one cares, mainly because most people have a fear of people's opinion. Most people want to fit in. Most people want to conform to and with people who don't care about them. What sense does that make? Blaze your own trail. Go where you want to go. Do what you want to do. Those who mind won't matter. And those who matter won't mind. Have a good one. Thank you.